So the main message of, of our event is what do you do to get through tough times? What helps you through adversity? And the reason we promote this event is we're funded by SAMHSA, the Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service Administration, and it is a partnership with, of course, uh, the scribe, they're one of our partners, and the English and Modern Language Department here at this university, and I'm with Heartland Consumer Network, that's an organization of people who are in recovery from mental illness, and I'm a person who's recovered from 12 psychiatric diagnoses and seven hospitalizations and six suicide attempts and um, 29 medications, up to six of them all at one time. And I've completely exited that system now. And I no longer take any medications. And I've come up with a theory to describe this process that many times we're given the message that if you're suffering emotionally, it's a disease. And what I've come up with to say is, well, if you're suffering emotionally, it's from distress. And the difference between the disease model and the distress model is that the distress model says that if you have mental health struggles or symptoms or challenges, it's because a lot of times really bad junk has happened in your life. And so that leads to a ready solution. You can either get rid of the bad junk or find ways to self-support yourself, like how do you get through adversity? Find those things. How do you get through tough times? So if you find those things, that's the way out of that difficulty. Whereas the disease model says, if you're suffering emotionally, it probably came out of the blue from a physical cause. And the solution to that is a different solution. Although finding how you get through adversity, that's also helpful for that model. So that's why we're talking about how to get through adversity because it's helpful no matter how you look at the source or solutions. So as a person who has experienced pretty much everything the mental health system has to offer and has moved on and built a business that was a finalist for Google's Gigabit Business Challenge for $350,000 two months ago, I was a semi-finalist for that business plan competition. I was a semi-finalist for $40,000 from the Foundation for Excellence in Mental Health Care. I was a finalist for $12,000 from the U.S. Olympic Committee. So that's my successes in the last year with my business and seeking that very initial partnership with Dr. Brackett. 